Ba? Aki, at a smile to Zubayan, it was a smile to near Bure, Aki serious. Just smile. Where's the Jewam to Alukana weekend here, Ainagani? Just smile. Give them a smile. Okay, tell them you're looking good. Amen. Are we okay? Amen. I bring greetings from our Father. I bring greetings from our Father. Oh, 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 okay. All the pastors in the house, God bless you. God bless you. Let's celebrate our pastors in the house. Amen. Our Father is doing fine. He's very strong by the grace of God. And He has prayed for me so that I can come and encourage you. I know, yeye hufundisha, yeye hubiri, my work is to encourage. Sawa. So for the few points that I have here, I've just come to encourage you. I cannot preach like him, you know. Eh, my work is to encourage. Yes. Don't give up. That is our message today, don't give up. Yeah. And I know that life has so many challenges. There are ups and downs in our marriages, in the ministry, at our places of work, in our relationships, but we know where to run to. God has taught us on how to trust in his word. And therefore, we should not give up Sometimes we feel like giving up because of discouragement, sometimes bitterness, sometimes mambo haiendi vile uliko unataka. Pengine unatafuta kazi haienendi vile unaenda. But I just want to encourage us, do not give up. Amen. I begin by telling us the meaning of giving up. What is giving up? When we hear this word giving up, ata mtoto mdogo nasema nasikia ku give up, nasikia ku give up. Mm, nasikia ku give up sana. Sometimes unafikiri ni vocabulary. You, you think maybe it's a new word. But sometimes huwa tunapitia issues. Paka watoto wetu wanasikia hiyo word. Because you keep on saying every day, I'm giving up. I've given up. So a small baby for years, anamuka kisema, I'm giving up. Unasikia mtoto mdogo nine years, anasema nikona stress. Hiyo stress ajui ni nini. Alisikia mama yaki ya kisema nikona stress. So make sure wakati unaongea kwa simu, angalia maneno unaongea nani yako karibu. If you are calling your friends, unawambi, aki ni kona stress, mtoto ako hapo, anafanya shuguli zake, anachukua hiyo word, anaambia wengine, aki ni kona stress. So maybe ni kukosa usingizi hajui, ama anasikia nja, anasema ni kona stress. So make sure ujue unasema nini. And maybe you have used this word, giving up. I feel like giving up. It means... Admitting defeat. It means surrender. It means you, when you stop making, making progress. Yafika tu mahali unasikia kwa mba sita kikuendelea. Nimekata tama. Nimekufa moyo. I feel like giving up. That is admitting defeat. Unaka, unajihubiria mwenyewe, unasema ya kwamba hapa penye nimefika, nasikia nguvu zimeniishia. And everybody has been in that situation. Everybody, including me. Sometimes in the ministry, you try kujaribu kuweka vitu pamoja. Unajaribu kufanya biashara. Vitu hazienendi. Unaanza biashara, alafu yote inazama kwa maji. You feel like giving up. And there, there is that fear that comes. Utaki kuongea kuhuzi biashara. Because your heart imeenda chini. So when we say that we surrender, ama we feel we stop making progress. It also means a place of losing hope. You feel like losing hope. Nasikia 
sitaki kuendelea sioni mbele hakuna matumaini Galatians 6 9 King James version the bible says and let us not be weary in well doing let, and let us not grow weary while doing good it is possible for a man we are human sometimes we do good things sometimes we try our best but the word of god is telling us let us not grow weary while doing good for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose hearts in due season we are going to reap if we do not lose heart when the bible says that we should not grow weary it is possible you raise children wanafika mahali unaona instructions unapeana kwa nyumba hasichukuliwi you feel like giving up as a parent unawasukuma kwa walimu enda ni shule unawasukuma wakiwa wadogo enda sunday school ufundishwe huko you feel like giving up kwa sababu unaona ya kwamba watoto wadogo 3 years wanakushinda you begin a business vitu hazienendi sawa unajipata you feel like giving up but the word of god is encouraging us today we should not grow weary while doing good sometimes we stay with people we help people unawasomesha unatoa pesa zako unatoa chakula unabaki bila unatoa shopping yote you help your neighbors unatoa nguo zote zako unabariki watu na jinsi ambavyo umetoa unafikiri mwenzako atafurahia one to find that amevaa kiatu chako na anakuinulia kisigino na ni kiatu high heels ulimpea the bible is telling us we should not grow weary while doing good kwa sababu haufanyi mtu ni mungu unafanyia let me help us today. Pastor Bitok alinisaidia hivi siku moja. Nilikuwa nimekuwa discouraged kabisa. Nimetoa vitu zangu nimebariki watu. Nimetoa mattress. Nimesaidia mtu hakuwa na mattress. Nimemsaidia nimempea blangeti. Alafu kwa hiyo blangeti ndani ya mattress. Oh, mattress alafu bed sheet alafu blangeti. Wanalala waki discuss familia mchungaji. The devil is a liar. Iyo blangeti ambao tulipeana. Iyo bedsheet ambao tulipeana. Watu wanaanza kukudiscuss ndani. Na shukuru mungu siku sikia. Kwa sababu ningeenda kuwamba in the closet. Na sambaratisha iyo blangeti. Na sambaratisha hizo blangeti. <laughs> okay. Na sambaratisha na funua. Alafu zikifunuka na mnai. Mutu anafikiri maybe ni pepo ama sijui nani ya mekuja. It hurts. It's painful. Unasaidia watu, unabaki bila chakula. Unasaidia familia ya wenyewe, unabaki bila chakula. Unatoa kila kitu kwako. Watoto wako wanabaki bila chakula. Alafu yuli ambaye ulilisha chakula. Amepata mahali pa kuwekelea mkono. Wakati ulikuwa na msaidia, alikuwa na pocket. Lakini amepata kitambi, amepata mahali pa kuwekelea mkono, aweze kushika hapa akutusi. The Bible is saying, do not give up. Haijalishi watu wangapi wame kuinulia kizigino. Haijalishi watu wangapi wame kuonyesha kifumbi. The Bible is telling us today, do everything as unto the Lord. Wakati unafanya huduma wakati unabariki watu. Funga macho yako hii mbili ya kimwili. Fungua macho ya kiroho. Kwa sababu kifungua macho ya mwili utakaukiwa. Utasema na msaidiaje na hako na suti. Na mulipiaje gari na hako na suti. Na mulipiaje gari na ameweka lipstick. Usidanganyo na lipstick. Na eza paka lipstick uniombe change ya 1,000. <laughs> na hiyo kibeti iko na ATM card peke yake. But the Lord is telling us today, the Lord your maker who made you, the Lord who fashioned you, do not give up. Naongea na mtu ambaye alikuwa amesema sita why saidia watu tena? Atumeweka ex. Hapana, rudi hapo. Penye unajaribiwa, that's where you find your strength. Praise the name of Jesus. 
mahali ambapo unapitia changamoto hapo ndiyo breakthrough yako iko katika jina la Yesu amen and let us not be weary in well doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not kiswahili inasema hivi tena tusichoke katika kutenda mema maana tutavuna kwa wakati wake tusipo zimia roho tusipo zimia roho unaweza zimia roho kwa sababu ya kusaidia watu unaweza zimia roho kwa sababu umeenda mlimani umeombea watu umeombea Mungu awasaidie umechukua wakati wako usiku na mchana try to encourage these people na wakishasimama kama wewe ni mchungaji akishasimama harudi kutoa ushuhuda amepost kwa facebook ameenda kanisa nyingine ulimsaidia akasimama you prayed for this believer lakini wakati amesimama ameenda kanisa nyingine alafu ataandika kwa facebook the greatest church ever hiyo kanisa nyameenda so unajiuliza hiyo yenye alikuwa ilikuwa ni nini the greatest church ever yeah. kuna mtu alinifanyia hivyo nikamumenta nikamsaidia alipoamua kuhama akaandika kwa facebook the greatest church ever nilimfuata nikamuongelesha nikamwambia hata ukienda wapi i feel many your mother thank god alirudi ako hapa ako hapa ako hapa hey, hey, hey. yes you remain your mother <laughs> reasons why you should not give up reasons why you should not give up mm. ukicheka ni wewe kwani wewe umetoroka kanisa yako the greatest church ever uko na mpango wa kutoroka sikia kama uko na mpango wa kutoroka kanisa funga mlango vizuri Angalia uzuri wa huyo pasta. Wacha kuangalia tu walikuwa na shati moja. Wacha kuangalia wakati ulikuja hiyo church you were wounded. You came crying. Akapanguza machozi. Wakati umekuwa mtu sasa umepata mahali pa kumusomea. Peace of your mind. Go open your church. You will understand and know. Sio rahisi. Reasons why you should not give up. Jeremiah 29:11. Is because we have a father. The reason why we should not give up is because we have a father. God is our father and he is telling us that he has good plan for us. Hata wakati watu wamekuacha, just be in the closet and say, God is my father. He is telling us that I know the thoughts that I think towards you. The thoughts of peace wakikuazia mabaya jipeleke in the closet unasema wameduazia mabaya sitarudisha ubaya angalau nionekane mwerefu ninarudi in the closet naenda kujaza kikombe tena wakijaribu kuniletea macha, uchafu uchafu ati machafu uchafu uchafu ninaenda in the closet i nullify in the name of jesus god gave you a voice god gave you a mouth before you eat ugali and chapati declare the wisdom of god declare the powerful word of god declare to your children that they are blessed Wacha wacha kusanyasanya maneno ambayo watu wamekuambia. Alafu unaweka kwa moyo. Alafu unatembea ukijihurumia. Unafika kwa hoteli, haukuli kwa sababu ya maneno. The devil is a liar. Wakati uko na stress, nunua ugali mlima na samaki na nyama choma. Choma hiyo maneno ambayo wamesema katika jina la Yesu. We have no apology. Yeah. Raba za katalaba. Ati watu wamekusema wewe ndio utakufa. Wakati wanasema mabaya, be positive. Look at the other side of the coin. Jiangalie na macho ya Mungu. I have come to encourage you today. Do not give up because of issues. Do not give up because you are disappointed. Do not give up because of discouragement. Do not give up because of rejection. The Lord your maker is saying that he has good plan for you. You better be
believe the report of the Lord. Watu wameongea uongo usiwaamini. Believe the report of the Lord. In the word of God, he is saying that I know that those that I think toward you. Ukigeuka hivi wakisema mabaya. Geuka upande huu kwa neno la Bwana. Sema I believe the word of God. Waonyeshe mugongo na uanze kuendelea. Usema ya kwamba I know that those are, that I think toward you. Put your name there and say my name is Susan Wangare Bitok. I know God is saying. He knows. He has good plans. Mawazo ya amani. Alafu unaenda kulala haulali. Unasunguka yani haujakula juu ya mtu. Alafu tena usingizi na mtu analala kwake labda yako katara. Habda hata hamjaonana. Lakini amekuangalisha vibaya yako katara. Wewe kwa bedroom yako ulijibaia kitanda, ulijibaia bed sheet. Huku taandikiwa ukajitandikia. Chakula mtu hakukununulia ulijibaia chakula shetani yashindwe ukajibaia chakula hey. alafu tena utaki kulala kitanda cha nani shindwe sana shindwe sana sema shindwe sana god has good plans for your life tell somebody do not give up those of peace not of evil to give you an expected end. When you feel like giving up, go back to God. In other words, I'm saying, when you feel like giving up, go back to God. He is your maker. Yeye ndiye aliyekuumba. Hiyo sura ambayo uko naye, hakuna mtu alichangia? Wazazi walitumika kama nini? Kama gari wa kufikisha duniani. Na ulipofika you are in the plans and the purposes of God. So hiyo sura ni original kutoka kwa Mungu. Amen. When you feel like giving up, go back to God because he is your maker. He will make a way for you. Amen. Amen. He is a promise keeper. He will fulfill his promises. He is a rewarder of those who seek him diligently. Point number two, reasons why you should not give up. Is because he gives you an inner strength. God gives you an inner strength. When you go through issues, don't run away from the presence of God. When you go through issues, don't run away from the presence of God. Stay under his presence like in Psalms 91. Stay in the presence of God. Watu wengi tukipitia changamoto tunatoka tunaenda kukaa kwa watu. Umesahau kuomba, hautaki maombi, hutaki kusikia neno. Unatoka. Na sana sana unaenda kutafuta watu wa sympathy ambao wanaenda kukupaka mafuta. Utapakwa mafuta, mafuta itaisha bado uchafu uko, ujaoga. Enda uoge. Chini ya neema ya Bwana. Psalms 91 the Bible says he who dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. Amen. Now, wakati unapitia changamoto, these are the benefits. Don't run away. Don't run away from the presence of God. Why? We are safe when we abide in the presence of God. As a believer, as a family member, as a mother, as a father, when we go through challenges, I want you to understand that we are saved when we abide in his presence. Amen? Amen. We are assured of peace in the presence of God. Amen. When he says that he has good plan for us, usikae mbali kaa chini ya uvuli wake, utapata amani, utapata furaha, utapata furaha tele tele, na utapata ulinzi ulio sawa. God will protect you, meaning that God will keep you safe. Under his presence, God will preserve your life. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. God will preserve your life that you will not be lonely. Amen. When you feel like giving up, wacha kwenda kukama hali peke yako. 
Shetani atakuhudumia. Shetani atakwambia kufa hata upendeki hata hakuna mtu kama wewe. Hata kabisa wamekuua walishakumaliza. Wewe sio mtu tena. Alafu ukitoka mahali penye uko peke yako, ukikuja kupanda gari stage, kila mtu anakuambia uko sawa. So unajaza ile umetoka kujiongelesha. Uko sawa. Nini mbaya? Nini mbaya? Watu watatu wakikuambia hivi jioni uko kwa ward. Uko kwa ward. Tell your neighbor do not give up. Amen. God will protect you. I have said meaning that God will keep you safe. Another point, God's peace. You are going to to enjoy God's peace, meaning that you are secure in the presence of God. Amen. Do not run away from the presence of God. I know you are here. Na pengine mambo yamekuwa mazito sana. Umeomba umeona Mungu hajaingilia kati. Umeombea bwana yako umekaa mlimani 40 days. Na unaambia Mungu nitakaa mlimani mpaka achenge. Ukirudi nyumbani anakuchapa. Kwanza kwa sababu ulikaa sana. Unaombea mtoto wako achenge. Unamuombea unashinda mlimani, umetoa sadaka, umetoa pesa zote mpaka school fees. Ukirudi nyumbani amekuwa kinyume tena zaidi. Do not give up. Umeombea boss, boss wako a change. Unafikiria ame change, unaenda kazini, unakuta barua amekuandikia utoke kazi. Do not give up. Amen. Stay in the presence of God because you are going to find peace, protection, provision in the presence of God. Hallelujah. We are assured of his power under his presence. Wakati unapitia changamoto, when you feel like giving up, be in the presence of God because we are assured of his power meaning that in adversity God will deliver you and help you reach your goal. Wakati wa mambo mazito God will deliver you. In times, season of adversity God will deliver you and help you reach your goal. My prayer for us today my prayer that I was praying this morning, when I came for the lunch hour, I was praying, God, help us. Hide us. Tufiche chini ya uvuli wako. Hide my family. Hide my children. Hide my business. Hide my church members. Under the shadow of your wings. Where I can get comfort. Where I can get peace. Where I can enjoy the power of God. We only find peace, joy under the shelter of the Most High God. Amen. Hide your family, your business under the shadow of the Almighty God. Amen. Am I talking to a believer that, that, that feels like giving up? Uko kwa department na unasikia kuachana. Sheria zimekuwa nyingi kwa hiyo huduma. Uko kwa praise and worship. Sheria zimeongezeka. Ukifikiri zinapungua zimeongezeka. Unasikia kuingia ushering ama protocol. Ukiingia huko zimezidi. Wamesema tena lazima mshone uniform. You feel like giving up even in the church. Kuna watu wananiangalia hapa hivi. Umekuwa ukiambia Mungu nataka kuhama kanisa. Umeshahama kama tano already. Tano ushahama. Unagojia kanisa mpya in the city na bado unataka kuhama. Angalia nini nafanya uhame. Kama uko na ugonjwa wa kosho yako utasambaza. Kama uko na marasmus utatembea na huo ugonjwa kwa kanisa ya sita. You better change. Angalia moyo wako. Sit down under the presence of the Almighty. Aketie mahali pasiri pake. Alie juu. Atakaa katika uvuli wake. Mwenyezi. Utakaa katika uvuli. 
na ukiwa katika uvuli kuna amani kuna furaha wakati wa jua hausiki jua wakati wa mvua hausiki mvua kwa sababu Mungu amekuweka mahali pake weka ndoa yako chini ya uvuli wa Mwenyezi Mungu weka watoto wako ambao unaombea hiyo biashara ambao haishikanishi weka chini wa uvuli siku moja nilikuwa nafanya biashara na bado nafanya ilikuwa ingine unajua biashara mtu afanya ngi moja mtu anafanya kazi mingi mingi sawa nikakuwa nafanya ingine ya viatu hii town tu za mchumba ikafika mahali zikakaa haziendi nikapata ninakufa moyo nakata tamaa nikasema naenda sokoni siuzi Nakaa nikienda soko nyingine siuzi. Watu wanakuja wanaangalia wanajipima wanaenda. Wengine wanakuja wanavaa kama pea tano na najua mnavanga manguo za wenyewe. Wanavaa alafu anasema wacha niangalie narudi. Nikakuwa discouraged kabisa. Ndasaidia mtu. Siku moja nikasikia nimekata tamaa. Naenda kupiga zote mara moja shilingi mbili. Sio kiatu moja mbili. Yaani stock. Hiyo stock. Nataka niuze mbili nimalize. Na nikaenda nikauza hapa tu town. Nikaenda nikamwaga na nikasema mbili. Nikawachana naye. Nikarudi nyumbani nikajihurumia. Nikafikiri niko sawa nilikuwa naishi kapsoya na dadangu sikuwa ni maolewa Nikasikia hapana lazima nifanye jambo tena Nikaamua kuomba Mtu akaniletea pesa nikafungua biashara ingine ya viatu tu Nikaziongelesha nikatabiria Alafu nikaenda soko Soko za nje pia zinasaidia Nikaenda soko na nilienda ziwa Guess what? Ziwa nilipoenda mtumishi wa Bwana ambaye tulikuwa tunakutananga shule. Pastor Bitok. Alikuwa ameenda nyumbani. Unajua Nyalilbe, unafika Nyalilbe alafu ziwa. Si unajua? Akakuwa anatembea tembea na baiskeli. Guess what? Mungu alimuongoza. The steps of a righteous man. Akakuja hakuwa nanunua viatu lakini akajipata amefika penye niko na baiskeli. <laughs> Nikaona maombi ambayo niliomba. Nilitabiria viatu na nikaamua sikae nyumbani tena. Nikaambia mtumishi wa Bwana, "Tabiria hivi viatu itembee. Tabiria tangaza baraka." Akashika kiatu moja akatabiria, akaombea na viatu sikaanza kuenda zikiendanga na biashara ikakuwa sawa na hiyo sorry itaendelea kuja kesho ni kumalizie venye biashara venye biashara iliendelea in other words hata biashara yako weka chini in the presence of god usikuwe na shaka weka chini ya Mwenyezi Mungu simama kwa miguu yako Nilifundishwa kwa mali zangu ujumbe ndio kama nsi hata Yesu hakumalizia Msamaria mwema Msamaria mwema alifika message ilifika katikati ikakuwa imewaka moto sana akasema wacha nikimbie niite wale wazee nilikuwa nao pia wakue delivered kama nsi hata mimi ambia mwenzako come and listen what happened after that Are you ready with your giving with your offering? Thank you for watching us those who are watching us. Thank you for being faithful. I want us to pray and tell God thank you because we are not going to give up. Mungu ametubariki ametuinua. As we are going back to our places of work, as we give our offerings, we are telling the Lord, we are not going to give up. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you plus your offerings in the name of Jesus. We are making these declarations, oh God, that we are not going to give up. Hatukufi moyo. Tunasimama mbele zako. Tunajua ya kwamba uko na mpango mzuri juu ya maisha yetu. 
sisi tumebarikiwa biashara imebarikiwa huduma imebarikiwa sisi wote ni wana wako bwana as we go back to our places of work we walk with our shoulders high knowing that we are under your presence a place of preservation a place of protection a place of power in the name of Jesus we bless your holy name in Jesus name we pray and believe may you go and prosper weka biashara yako chini ya uwepo wa bwana